Hey guys, it's Maddie and welcome back to my channel. I thought we could spend the morning together at least and do some book shopping. I am going to go to Indigo and hopefully get a couple books. Um, I want to get Butcher and Blackbird and potentially Done and Dusted. I have a book I want to exchange, so fingers crossed that they're in stock. My Indigo says they have one Butcher and Blackbird left. And if not, then I guess we'll go for a little drive to the next Indigo potentially, or I might just order it online. We'll get there and see, but then I'm also gonna stop at my library because I have a couple books in there for me to pick up. And yeah, but anyways, let's just hang out. I got a coffee going right now. I have a Nespresso Caramel Nut in my Yeti because I don't want to buy coffee when I'm out. If I'm buying a book, I don't want to buy a drink. So I'm just gonna bring my own with me. And I got my vehicle started because it's freaking cold out. It's like minus 15 right now. So I got my vehicle started. My seat warmer is on, so I'm gonna be toasty. But anyways, let's start this drive. We've made it to the mall. And frick, it is so cold out here and snowy and it's just not a good time. Can't wait to get inside where there's books and warm. The warmth will be nice too. <laughs> trip I have been on in such a long time I cannot wait to show you what I found when I get home please I couldn't squeal in the store so I had to squeal internally but now to the library we're done shopping I don't typically go into my public library like during the morning I usually go because it's on my way to milking so usually I'll just go around like 3 30 ish but I went in and it's like 11 30 and oh my god, it is so busy in there with like moms and children, which I get it. I get it, but I've just never experienced it. So that was that was an event. But I got my books. I will kind of explain them once I get home, which will be in a few moments. There's also this one lady who works at the library, and her and I are probably like close to the same age, I think. And we like chat when I go in, and she like asks me about the books I'm reading, and I ask her, and just like very little life chat, but we still like talk to each other every time we go in and kind of do like a very small mini, mini catch up. But she wasn't in today, so that was kind of sad. I was hoping I was gonna see her because there's a couple books I wanted to ask her about, and I didn't get to see her, so that's too bad. Let's just get right into it with the first three books that I bought at Indigo. The first book is Done and Dusted by Lila Sage, and it is a romance, as you can probably tell from the cover. It follows two characters, Clementine, aka Emmy Ryder, and also Luke Brooks. And just all I really know is the back, and I watched one YouTube video where somebody talked about this book. I don't remember who it was, but this is turning into a series. There is a second book supposed to be coming out soon. And it is a Rebel Blue Ranch novel. So Luke Brooks is a bar owner, a bachelor, and a notorious bad boy. So everything we want in a guy and also a cowboy. This is like a ranch country type book. And Luke is best friends with Emmy's brother. So, you know, older brother, older guy, things like that. And Emmy moved away for a bit and then she's coming back to her hometown and she like had a boyfriend, I think, and they broke up or something along the lines of that. She's heartbroken and coming back to town and Luke obviously doesn't have anyone. So they start like hooking up um, and then we'll see where it goes from there. I'm excited to read this. I haven't really read a designated romance book. I've read like other books that have a side of romance, but nothing like this. Which leads into the second book, which is a romance, but a little bit of a different romance. And that is Butcher and Blackbird by Bryn Weaver. And this book is about two serial killers who kill other serial killers. And then they like team up and go all across the states, basically hunting out serial killers to kill them. And they like become like spark up a friendship. And I think this is also another slow burn book. 
and I am so excited to read this. Obviously there's like there's a whole page of trigger warnings at the front of this book so obviously it's a dark romantic comedy so I'm excited to dive into this. This might be my next read. I've heard really good things about this. Heather McLary, I believe is her name on YouTube. She, I just watched a video of hers and she raved about this book, did like a reread, but listened to the audio version of it. So I cannot wait to dive into this. And also just look how pretty it is. And the final book I bought, and I am so excited for this. This shocked me because I wasn't going to Indigo expecting to buy this. That is the special edition of Iron Flame with the stained edges. This book has been sold out everywhere online since its release essentially in Canada and I haven't seen it posted anywhere except for like on Facebook where the price is like freaking jacked up and this was $30. It was on sale even and like I was just stumbling around Indigo, just doing my little wander. I had already picked out the other two books and had them. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to kind of like wrap up, just do one final lap. And what do I see at the very back of the store? A pile of Iron Flame and Fourth Wing books. And I see the stained edges and I'm like, oh my, oh my, what do we have here? Freaking Iron Flame with the stained edges. And I didn't need this book because I already have a copy of both Fourth Wing and Iron Flame in the regular unstained edge version. But then the special edition of Fourth Wing came available on Indigo. So I ordered it and it was like also really on sale. It was like 23 bucks for that one. So I bought it. And then I was like, well, I would love to have the matching Iron Flame one, but I just didn't think it was like possible. Didn't think it was going to happen. So I came to terms with it. Then I had the idea, I'm like, well, maybe I'll just paint mine. Maybe I'll just see if I can do it. Other people have done it, so maybe I can too. But now I don't have to because I have my other copy. So I'm going to sell my other two copies of the book. But then this is where I'm torn. I'm like, well, do I just keep those other two and annotate them and like actually write and highlight in the book? Because I've already bought them. I already have them. Or do I sell them? But yeah, so that's my next dilemma of what to do with my regular copies of those books. And now we will get into the library books that I just picked up. So the first one is Before We Were Innocent by Ella Berman. And this is like another mystery psychological type book. And it is about a group of friends that go away to Greece. I think there's like three of them that go away to Greece. One ends up being murdered over there. And then the other two come back to, I'm assuming the States, and are like cleared. Nothing happened. But the media dives into their background and like ripping apart basically everything about them. And then the one friend like capitalizes on her coming to fame if you will after the murder and stuff and becomes like a motiv motivational speaker goes around has a really big like public appearance now and then the other friend goes to the complete opposite and like shields and shelters her life makes herself as small as possible stays away from any attention and then in the present day when this book takes place there's like another crime she, this one friend gets tangled up in a crime eerily similar to that of the fateful night in Greece so she's caught up in something else something else has happened and now she's being brought up again into the public um so then she calls her other friend to come and like help her I'm assuming to be like an ally and then what happened in Greece is brought up and I'm assuming it's going to go through all of the details of what actually happened there and then lastly is All of Us Villains. And this is a duet by Amanda Foodie and Kristen Lynn Herman. Don't know much about this book, honestly. Kind of just ordered it from the library on a whim because I heard Lexi, aka Newly Nova, I believe is her name, on YouTube. She was talking about this book and suggested that if you like The Hunger Games, you'll like this one. It's about, it's kind of like the same premise-ish these families have to pick these there's like seven families they all have to pick a child to go and like fight in these war games to win the power of 
their place like where they live the kingdom i guess and they get to control like this higher magic and have all of the power of the government thought it'd be very interesting so i am looking forward to this quite an array of books i have now i don't know which ones i want to start with this is my problem when i get like a couple library books but then i also have some books that i own because i want to read the books i own because i bought them because i want to read them but I also have to return my library books in two weeks, so I should probably read them first. I'm feeling probably, I don't know. I just really don't know. I'm going to need to sit with it. If you have any suggestions, please leave them down below. Anyways, I think I'm going to end this video here. I have talked a lot. Thank you for coming along with me to Indigo. And purchasing all of my exciting purchases and getting my library books. I want to start doing more book content because I have finally found the confidence of being a reader and think I can like share my knowledge of books and my reviews and opinions on these books. I think it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it and I love finding new books. I like finding old books that are new to me. I like getting excited about reading. And it's like, especially reading a series when all of the books aren't out yet, it is so weird because you can't just binge them all. Like TV shows and stuff, usually they're all out. But with books, it's like you actually have to like sit down and read them. Obviously, that's the point of a book. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye! I am organizing my bookshelf as you can see behind me. And I have been moving some books and I haven't looked at some of these books in a very long time because my mom first originally did this, but now I kind of want to do it in my system. So I looked at The Black Key, this book, and I saw the top was crinkled. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember when Sadie was a puppy, she got some of my books and had a really bad habit of chewing books. I wanted to take the dust cover off just, just to see. And I wish I didn't because the horror that is this book. Look, I knew it was bad, but I I didn't know it was this bad. Like I can't even, I don't even want to be seen reading this because this is horrible. I think this is the only book she really, oh, except for, I'll show you the other one she got. She got Insurgent. Um, I don't know if it's just, yeah. I forgot how pretty this book is without the dust jacket on. Ooh, but yeah, it's just the cover she got, so it's fine, but still not fine. Dogs, puppies, they'll test you, they'll test you.